role has reflection played in shaping your personal growth? I think that there's like my own personal reflection. And then I think one of the most powerful tools for me has been other people's reflection and feedback for me. Um, so I'll talk briefly about both. But I think for myself, the reflection has, has been core to um, my sense of wanting to live in each day. And it's a pretty simple set of practices that sometimes I totally don't keep and sometimes I really do that are like, you know, running in the morning and not thinking so yeah. that I can actually reflect in whatever way I want to or having time at the end of the day to just like really chill and think about things that come to mind without having to check anything off a list or show up at another event or be kind of all in present. So yeah. um, I think I increasingly try to have those practices just because they're they're really healthy for me and they make me like much more likely to have good reflection. But I think the other thing that's been incredibly helpful is to choose um, time with other people, both at my work and then in my life outside of work, who I really respect and whose opinion and reflection really matters and can help me grow and and to seek those people's feedback on places where they think I'm doing something I could be doing better. Um, and I, I'm just lucky to have a family that's really honest and open about that stuff and always pushing each other and supporting, but always pushing each other and friends who are like that too. And mm -hmm. then at work, that's so much of our culture at PhD is, as yeah. we've talked about before, the direct feedback and constructive criticism. And I think for me personally, I just really thrive off of this idea that like, we're only partially who we are meant to be and we're going to be shaped by all the best people around us. And so I'm open to that in a way that means that that's for me, that's one of the most powerful ways to reflect. 